this video, we're going to do a little audio test with four different types of microphones in a room that is very acoustically challenged. And I think you'll find the results interesting. So let's check it out. Okay, so first up, I'm using the onboard microphone on the Canon 60D. And I think you kind of get the idea that this is not very good. And especially in a room like this, which has a lot of echo. So let's see what we can do to improve on this. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up the Rode NTG2 shotgun mic. And that'll be the first one we'll try. Okay, so what we have here is the Rode NTG2 uh, shotgun mic. And I've got the microphone about maybe two feet in front of me here. I can, I can touch it if I want. And I'm about five feet from the camera. And you can definitely see that this is an improvement. Um, but, you know, the shotgun mic has a really good sound, but I feel that it may be picking up a little bit more echo in this room than I would like. So I'll find out, you know, later on once I take a look at this recording. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so what we have here is the hand mic, the Blue Encore 300. And, you know, this is a cardioid mic, and you can definitely uh, see that it handles this room a lot better uh, than certainly than the camera mic and maybe even better than the shotgun mic. But again, I'll have to review this uh, when I'm done. Okay, so what I have here is a Blue Yeti Pro. And you can set the uh, pattern on this thing. It has like bi-directional, stereo, omnidirectional, and cardioid. So I have it set to cardioid. And this microphone I use for all my voiceover stuff. I really do like it. And it does handle the acoustics very well, from what I've found. And it has a really good sound. So, but, you know, this isn't obviously going to be a solution, you know, that I can use in doing a video like this. It's great for voiceover, but certainly not for this type of situation. So let's move on to the last one, which we have, and that's going to be a lav mic. Okay, and the final mic that I have is a... Rode lav mic and I really do like this thing because it does seem to handle the acoustics in this room especially really well and even though it doesn't have the kind of you know overall warmth and sound quality you'd get from like a boom mic but it really does seem to handle the problems and the nasties that you get in a room much like this one which has you know hardwood floors and that sort of thing so um, I, I really do feel like the lav mic and most and the Blue Yeti Pro and the handheld mic do very well in a room like this. And the shotgun mic, I, I might have, I'm going to have to experiment a little bit more with it to see kind of where we end up with it. But I, I would really like to see if I can make the shotgun mic work a little better in this environment. I don't know if it's possible without doing some acoustic. Uh, treatment in the room, but nevertheless, uh, yeah, so I think this has been a very interesting experiment for me, and one of the things I'd like to do is try some more with the shotgun mic, just to see how I can do it. Now, one thing I want to make clear, too, by the way, is all of these microphones that I've just done, all of these are XLR microphones, so they go directly into the recorder that I'm using, which is a Tascam DR100 Mark II. So I was using the same recorder to do all of these, um, obviously with the exception of the very first thing I did with the onboard camera microphone. So uh, I hope you all found this interesting. And uh, yeah, I look forward to doing some more experimenting and, and seeing what I can find out. And uh, I'll post the results. So I had a chance to go back and review the previous clips. And all I can say is, wow, what a difference. You know, these are yeah, four pretty decent microphones. And in a, in a room that's acoustically challenged like this one is, uh, definitely the results were quite a bit different than I would have anticipated. I thought they would be fairly similar. But without a doubt, I feel like the Blue Encore 300 hand mic, which I'm using right now, was pretty much the clear winner 
um, in the pack. And uh, the Blue Yeti Pro did pretty well too. I think I would say it was very similar to the hand mic. But I felt like the uh, shotgun mic and the uh, lav mic didn't do quite as well uh, as these other two in eliminating some of the nasties in this room. So anyway, uh, this was an interesting experiment for me to do and uh, I enjoyed doing it. So uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, ideas, leave them below and I look forward to doing another experiment, something similar, or maybe what I'll do is I'll try taking this experiment and doing it outside. I think that might be the next step. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.